Hey Polish Peeps! Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to do the um, review of all the polishes that I wore in the month of February. February, I feel like, did I say that right? February, I feel like was a really good month of manis for me. I have um, in the past wanted to do um, what I wore during the month video, but have not had time to fit it in my schedule. So this will be the first time um, for me doing this. And I hope that um, all of you follow me on Instagram. So all of the pics um, and videos that I put in this video will also be are, or are already posted on my Instagram channel. Um, so I really feel like I got a pretty good amount of polishes worn for the month of February. Now I was trying to include some of the polishes off of my there's hair in here. Off of my um off of my winter rack and so I did wear a couple of those. So when I get to those I'll I'll mention that those were on my winter rack. My winter rack is actually this side right here in front of me. So I feel like I got a pretty good um pretty good use out of the polishes on my winter rack. It is coming up to spring, so I am going to be pulling new polishes. Some of these will transfer to my spring, my spring rack, but not very many of them because I do wear quite a few of them. But um, let's go ahead and do um, the month of February in Rewind. It's actually not in Rewind because I'm going to start from the beginning. So <laughs> um, the first Manny that I wore was this one that was gifted to me from my sweet friend, Amy Sue. Um, she knew that I wanted this polish and she sent it to me out of the goodness of her heart. I just love her so much. She's so sweet. So I did, and I did want, my plan was to do all, um, Valentine's Day manis for the month of February. And so I feel like most of them were Valentine's Day manis. The first, um, uh, mani I, uh, I wore for in February was five rose gold rings, which is this polish right here from Polish. And I also... I'm look. I'm cheating here a little bit. Did some cute stamping on this one, so I used these colors from Maniology for the stamping. This is coconut and cherry balm. I think the stamping on this um, on this Manny turned out so cute. And I used my favorite black stamping polish. This is on the black by Brave Diva. This polish stamps beautifully. I love it. I have a couple of other black stamping polishes, but this one is probably my favorite. And I used my Maniology stamping plates. Um, and I did some cute designs using these two plates. I think that these plates turned out really cute. I think I used that one. And I wasn't really too thrilled with these plates when I first got them because some of the designs on here, like skulls, I don't feel like represent Valentine's Day. I don't know. I'm not all about skulls, but there's a lot of skulls on here. Um, and also like the hearts with like knives going through them. I wasn't really driving, jiving with that. There's also some bugs and some butterflies, which to me don't speak Valentine's Day. But I did find some really cute images on this plate and I used them in my mini. I'll put pictures of each of these as I describe them to you in here as well, even though they are posted on my Instagram. So that was the first one. The second mini I wore was this one, a little gilt under the kilt. And this is a beautiful red. And I chose this one as a part of Josephine at Polish Talks um, Challenge, Polish Talk Challenge, um, in which we were, um, as part of our challenge, we, we were supposed to be wearing reds, OPI reds. And so I chose this one because I have really been wanting to wear this one since I got it. And I think it's really pretty. It turned out really gorgeous on the nails. And I paired it. I did a combo with this one, Insta Dry Making Mauves. Just polish right here. And this uh, from Believe Beauty, which is this beautiful um, rose gold glitter. I really loved this one. This one I thought turned out really cute. And um, I didn't do any stamping or anything. I just did like the red on my, on these three fingers. And I did um, this mauve color on my ring finger and the glitter on my pinky. So I think it turned out really pretty. It was really um, simple, yet I really loved how it turned out. 
So that was the second one that I wore. The third one that I wore, I really enjoyed as well. And I did this one as a twinning mani with my friend Josephine. And we have been saying we were gonna wear this polish for Valentine's Day. I don't know, it just screams Valentine's Day. Like as soon as we ordered it, we were like, yeah, that's a Valentine's Day uh, polish. So this is Penelope Lou's Boda Rosa. It's beautiful pink with this uh, glitter. And the glitter is like, holographic and there's some black glitters in there and some silver glitters it's real pretty really love this one and you guys will have to excuse the background noise my husband has decided it's time to weed eat even though he knows i'm recording but whatever <laughs> um we also wanted to wear like a dark like close to black polish on one finger so we chose this one on our red thing on our ring finger this one is tombstone She's not wearing, she didn't wear the exact same polish, but she wore a similar polish or a black polish, um, black holographic to be exact on her ring finger as well. And this one's really pretty, beautiful formula. I really love this one a lot. Um, and then on my middle finger, I wore this one, Troy, um, Zoya. This one was also gifted to me from my beautiful and awesome friend, Carolina. Um, I can't, we were just talking about polishes and she had, I think I said I wanted this one. She said she happened to have it, so she sent it to me and it is beautiful. I really love it. I really love how it turned out in this Manny and I enjoyed twinning with my friend Josephine. I thought that Manny was really beautiful and I had a hard time taking that one off. Um, so after that one, I wore this polish. This is one that was on my, um, on my winter rack. This is Space Cowboy by Polish. This is a blue polish with a beautiful multi-chrome shimmer in there. It is so pretty. I can't even show you guys how pretty it is, but you can kind of see the holographic there at the bottom with the shimmer um, that shifts right there. It's so pretty. Um, I really enjoy this polish, y'all. I have been wanting to wear this one. Um, as soon as I saw it on the polish site, I think I saw somebody else watch it and can't remember. Anyway, I just remember thinking that is a gorgeous polish and I've got to have it, picked it up. And so I wore it um, and I paired it with this polish, which is Dust to Dawn, polish for days, beautiful flakies going on in there. And I think this combination was really pretty on the nails. There's the two of those together. Um, it turned out really pretty, I think. And I wore, um dust took dawn on my middle finger and my ring finger and then this one on my other three fingers so i think that was a really beautiful combo and i really enjoyed it and as a last thought i think the last day i wore it i decided to add some of these um silver pink and holographic hearts and i thought it turned out really cute I really had a hard time getting the hearts out of this bottle, but once I got them out, once I got them on the nails, I thought it turned out really cute. It was a last minute addition that, you know, at first I was like, maybe it's a little much, but um, when I was kept looking at my nails and I kept seeing the holographic movement on my nails, I just, I thought it was really pretty at the end. I, it kind of grew on me and I wore this one for a couple of days. Um, this one is Twinkly Love. I think I got, I can't remember, maybe I got this at Dollar Mania or something. I just picked it up and thought it'd be really cute for Valentine's Day. So I think that was cute. Um, I also wore this one. Now this polish I had on my Lemming List, had been pining for for a while when I first saw it and it sold out and then it came back and then it sold out again. I finally scored it, but it was way after Valentine's Day last year. This polish came out last year. It is um, Fancy Gloss Queen of Hearts. It's a thermal. It has a ton of beautiful red hearts in it. Now, these hearts, this bottle has been sitting straight up like this, and these hearts are all on this side of the, of the bottle. So if you turn the other side, there's no, it's on the other side of the bottle. So that might give you kind of an idea of how hard it was to get these hearts out on my nail. I was so frustrated because I was so excited about this polish last year. Finally scored it, finally got a, a chance to wear it this year, and I could not, ooh y'all, I was 
I was so fit to be tie. I could not get these hearts out. I have since gotten some advice about how to get them out, so I will probably wear this one again, but I wasn't super thrilled with the way it came out on my nails. Um, you could see the, the red glitter placement was pretty good, but in the, I guess it's the cold state of this polish, you couldn't really see those red glitters. Um, and so I tried to do what I had seen before as a, like a peekaboo mani where when it's um, in the cold state and it's dark, um, you can't see the stamping. So I stamped on it and in the cold start when it's in the cold state when it was dark, you could not see the stamping. But then in the warm state, you could see the stamping underneath. Y'all, I loved it so much. I didn't even care that you can that there weren't any hearts because when you're just wearing the polish, nobody even knows that there's supposed to be hearts on there. But the peekaboo stamping turned out so good. Y'all will see my pictures. I was so excited. Now I did use this polish to do the stamping the first time on my left hand and I wasn't that thrilled with that because you could barely see it. But I went back and I stamped with Brave Steva on the black on my Cindy hand and y'all, it was so pretty. And then like the transitional stage where it was like clear, kind of clearish up here with those little sprinkles of red glitter with um, like the blackened tips when it was in transition and then the stamping on there. Oh my gosh, y'all, it was so pretty. I loved it. I loved it. I wore this one for quite a while and it was hard to take off because I loved it so much. Every time it warmed up, I was just like, ooh, yes. It was so nice. I loved it. So I'm glad I stamped on it because it made me want to wear the polish again and try again to get those hearts out and also maybe do another peekaboo stamping mani with it. Um, so after that, I wore, I picked up a couple of polishes from Essie's new Valentine's Day collection and I picked up this one, Peace, Love, and Chocolate, which is this beautiful metallic pink and I paired it with this topper from Claire's, which is called Quirky Tune. Quirky? Quirk, we're going to say Quirky Tune. I think that's the name of it, which is this cute topper right here with these black and white matte glitters. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but those are red lips mixed in there with those. And I thought this combo was really cute too. It turned out really cute on the nails. And let me see, did I stamp on it? Oh, I did do some cute stamping on it also as well. I picked up these two plates on sale and I did actually use these plates a lot for Valentine's Day. So I used this image right here with these two, this couple kissing and um, a heart image, which is not on this plate. It must be on the other plate. Um... It's a heart image and I did some reverse stamping inside, which I think turned out super cute. I use this heart right here and I did rever reverse stamping with um, that same red stamping polish, this one right here. That was my favorite image of the stamping on this particular mani. I think it turned out so cute. I really love this one. This was really cute. And I did some like double stamping with the words I love you. It was cute. I really like this one. And I would also like worked on my stamping skills, like my creativity. I did um, like some double stamping on top of like a bat with the background on my thumbnail. I love that one a lot. I think it turned out really good. So after that, we're getting towards the end of February and I was kind of rushing to fit in a couple of more um, Valentine's Day manis. This one, this was like February 23rd and I did these two polishes right here. I forgot to mention to you guys, these two polishes were on my winter rack. So that was two that I wore off my winter rack. Also, polish was on my winter, la uh, winter rack, five gold rings. And the Penelope Luz was on my winter rack as, all, as well. So I did a combination. And this was one that I did, I think, as a part of the Polish Talk Pennant Challenge. Um... It was a Pinterest picture that I was trying to copy and I'll insert the uh, inspiration pics for that one um, as well. And I used 
this one now this is a really old polish i don't even know where i got this from i think it was given to me um and so the formula was not that great it was really thick actually and it was hard to apply but it, it was really pretty on the nail so if i could find this polish like I don't know maybe I could thin it out a little bit and it would be um, better but um, it turned out beautifully after all of the work <laughs> but I don't want to have to work that hard for it but this one is called um, Smart Tees it's a beautiful light pink and I paired it with this one this one was also on my winter rack this is Charmy and Sugar and I don't know what collection this is from for OPI it's a Hello Kitty, maybe last year's Hello Kitty collection. Y'all probably know more about that than I do because I haven't been collecting polishes that long. So, <laughs> But this was a really pretty combo. I really enjoyed these two together. And I did, as a part of the Polish Talk Challenge, I did some freehand um, hearts and the word love on it in black. And the black polish that I used for... The free hand is this one by uh, Salon Perfect. This is black polish, it's called Oil Slick. This one is also a one coat black polish. I really like using this polish. Um, like if I'm just doing black polish and I wanna put something on top of it. If I, I use this one also if I'm doing swatch sticks and I'm doing nail art or something on my swatch sticks as you know, a black polish as the base polish. It's a really good one if you're looking for a one coat black polish. And it's not expensive just FYI so I use this one to do the freehand on this Manny and I think it turned out pretty cute I mean I obviously need some more freehand practice but I was actually pretty happy with the way it turned out and I did wear that one for three days which is a long time a long time for me um, and so then after that we're coming towards the end of the month on the 26th of February I wore this one which I Y'all, I was so in love with this Manny. So in love. I used Unwrap Me, which is this beautiful purple metallic from this year's Essie Valentine's Day collection. This is a, whew, this is an amazing polish, y'all. Amazing. It was, it could it could be a one coater, but I did two coats. And it's just beautiful. It's like a swatch beautiful, like cleanup was easy, like hardly any cleanup. And I stamped on it using, again, this is probably one of my favorite metallic uh, silver polishes from Maniology. This is Pewter. I don't know if I gave y'all the name earlier, but I did use this in several Manis. Um, I really like this one. This one stamps really well. Um, so I used that one on top of um, Unwrap Me. And y'all, it was so pretty. It turned out amazing. The stamping was on fleek. I was like, oh. I love this so much and again I use so I use uh, these two stamping plates you know different images off of these two stamping plate plates um, which these stamping plates are amazing like everything on here stamped beautifully I had no complaints now some of the smaller words didn't pick up that great but I mean I eventually did manage <laughs> I mean, but you can't really expect every, well, I guess you can't expect it, but I, I don't expect perfection from my plates, but these are probably as close to perfection as you can get for stamping plates. And these worked beautifully. By the way, this is Lena um, Nail Supplies. And um, these were on sale, they're probably not on sale now, but amazing stamping plates if you ever wanna place an order with them. And I also used an image off of this one which I use I just got these plates too as well use this image right here and I will try to remember to link them below too but this plate so amazing oh my gosh I can't even tell you guys so easy to clean it does remind you not to clean with acetone because it is plastic and not metal but these images on here are so cute and it stamps beautifully so I really loved that one um, that was probably one of my favorites out of the whole month. And then lastly, I did pick another um, red OPI for the Polish Talk Challenge. I'm not really a waitress. Have been wanting to wear this one. Oh, you don't need to see that tag. <laughs> Have been wanting to wear this one as, as well. It's a beautiful red vampy polish. 
if I'm gonna wear red, I like I really enjoy these shades on my nails. And I paired it with this polish, which is like a maybe a coppery multi-chrome kind of shifts to I can't even tell you guys. I mean it has like a little bit of blue in the base, which you wouldn't be able to the only reason you can tell it has blue in the base is because you can see the blue kind of there at the top. Um, but this one is really smooth and buttery going on the nails. Um, that multi-chrome shift is really pretty on the nails. I really enjoyed this one a lot and I paired, I'm glad I chose it to pair with that red polish because upon first inspection, I was like, ah, I don't know. But this one was on my winter, winter rack and I wanted to get it on the nails um, before winter was over. So that's why I chose that one to pair. Here's the two of those up close. And then, I think, did I do some, I did some stamping on it um, using those same plates and this polish from Maniology. This is coconut, which I had used this one before, some previous Manis for the month. Okay, we are done. That is everything that I wore in the month of February. I am going to try to do this again in the month of March. I have a really hard time keeping track of everything that I wear. So I have to go back to Instagram and be like, oh yeah, I did wear that. And then I don't always keep my polishes out. So I get frustrated when I have to find them again. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this rewind of the month of February. Stay tuned for the month of March where I'm hoping to get a lot more polishes on the nails, a lot more manis out. <sighs> Sometimes I wish my husband would just say hello. <laughs> like, <sighs> why do you have to be so weird? <laughs> Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button so you can uh, get the notification when I post and give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.